going everyone? It's Liam Carson here with another episode of Person of Interest. It's time for episode number 11 of season 1, Halfway Point. And man, what an ending we had for the last episode. It was uh, very, very um, hectic with uh, the fact that Reese uh, got shot. Um, someone from his CIA, well, from the CIA, of course, um, wanting a bit of a reunion with him and, of course, making it a bit personal. So, yeah, but like I said, Reese got shot. Um, Carter now knows, which is great. I mean, it's been half a season, of course, uh, but now she knows. Um, really who her guardian angel is uh, follow, following the episode prior to uh, episode 10. But not just that, though, but Finch as well, who she's had a run running with um, when, you know, things were still early days. But I'm very intrigued to see where this episode goes because, yeah, everything's just out in the open now, uh, as well as, you know, the wound for Reese, really. So, um, no, I'm looking forward to getting into this. So with that said, let's get into episode 11 of Person of Interest Season 1. Let's go. Holy shit. This is like fix him up now. Stitch him up. No questions asked. And you can be a doctor again. Holy shit. Finch really pulled through because... Uh, oh my god. You never know what you'll dig up. I've seen it ruin careers. Family. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? is against the law, Mr. Snow. So is lying to a federal agent. Oh, no. You didn't need to get her like that. 75550131. So who's this guy? That's what I'm trying to find out. I love how he's trying to play it cool. It's Fusco. Um, but, you know, all the while, it's like, oh, shit. Better pan out. It will. How? He knows. I don't know. Oh, he doesn't know. The machine does. But the ma Have a little faith, Nathan. In you, or in the machine. Yes. What just step? Uh, not just step. I mean, it's just one of those things people say, oh. you know, no, no offense. Oh, no. Uh, we got ramps all over the place, so if you need any... Here are the keys. If you need anything, my number's on that lease. The name is... My I hope your number isn't on the lease. If you get my drift. And her for me for a while, while I'm resting up. About that. I'm not here to rest, am I? <laughs> I'm afraid the machine waits for no man. No, so it doesn't. It doesn't care how close you are. You just met him. Oh Mr. my God! Mr. James. When he said the numbers on the licks, yeah, <laughs> he wasn't lying. Asks online phone bill. He called three pawn shops last week, the kind that specialize in off the book sales of untraceable handguns. Oh God. Trask might be planning to kill somebody. Oh Trask, give me, he's putting on a nice, he's putting on a nice front. I brought a few books for you to read. <laughs> and a little housewarming gift. I love how Finch is going out of his way. Thanks. Wanna try it out? Oh no, I'm, oh I'm my. different now. Get. <laughs> You'll thank me later. 714 is healthy. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that's what alerted the machine. Go on, Finch. Oh, I thought they were. <laughs> yeah. Stanley. Security guard. No, were they? Were he's they been like being like? Who's been stealing jewelry? I don't oh my God! Apartment. Machine, give us his number. Is Trask in trouble? Or is, or is he, he the, the problem? Tr You're not gonna get it staring at the wall. We need to do some legwork. AKU. <laughs> right. <laughs> like this, since Hurricane Opal trashed my yacht. Oh yeah. Looks like somebody went at this with a hammer. <laughs> but I doubt if he's just a collector of bull buying on our neighbors, Mr. Reese. Harold, get out of there now. Finch, be quick. Be quick, bud. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh! Heck! There's up. Three flights in your home. But move quick, he'll be on your floor in about 40 seconds. 
feel like a rat in a maze. <laughs> How do you put the, up with this? I was gonna say the rules are reversed. Doug, he uh... I a guy breaking in. He was just oh, in my God. apartment. Keep walking, Finn. I'm pretty sure Doug knows you're not the thief. He is, and I'm sending you the proof. Nice phone. Can I show you some? So we can call the police, and you can forget you saw me in. And if we want to direct this machine at a specific target, no need. Well, it already watches every target. Yeah. You're asking us to take a lot on faith here, Nathan. A piece of software we can't inspect, can't control or modify. You just have to trust it's good. All we get is a number. Did you need yep, more than a number to it. pick up Kurt's file? The software told you to take a closer look, so you did. It's a black box. That's the deal. You take it away. Like trying to push for a greater bargain, but Mr. Ingram felt that this project was his duty as a citizen, not a businessman. He's building a machine for, the people. for one US dollar. I suppose I don't have a choice. Deeply impressed when they shoot you. Just feeling a little restless here, Finch. Use the cushion. You got it, Beaver. Numbers for never stop coming in, Finch. What are we gonna do if another one comes in while I'm sidelined? Do the best we can. I'm sure I'd think. Don't think. Now, listen up. Whoa. Trask comes at you. Put your fingers straight out like this and strike at his eyes. Poke him in the eyes. That's your technique. <laughs> Oh, that's your technique, and if that doesn't work, you can always take your thumb, jam it in his eye socket, and twist till you hit his brain. Oh my god! It's making him a bit more uncomfortable, understandably, but he's just saying, look, this is the alternative! I think Lily's been spied on him now. Yeah, poor Some Lily. Data. Don't need any, like, creeps continuing the watch. Oh. Hey, where you going? To get lost. Oh. If I was Carter, I would get annoyed as hell. Good afternoon, Mr. Finch. How's it going with Lily? <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's literally filling in Finch's shoes. Finch. Never know when you I want answers. I need to know what you do. Turn around, detective. Oh, it's gonna be great having Carter roped in on this. This is great! Oh. To be involved in a violent crime. Talking I don't know about what exactly, but believe me, more numbers coming up. It's gonna happen. <laughs> you can't know that. You bring your service weapon, detective? Sorry to toss you into the deep end. There you go. Finest surveillance training on the planet. And a New York cop gave you the slip. <laughs> well, I know she's not in here, guys. <laughs> she might be. Check the boots. We said for my toilet clogs, I'll let you know. Otherwise, it's the sign. You were going to get close that. Is Trask. the building on fire? No, I'm sure everything's fine, Mrs. F, but I'm gonna go check it out just the same, all right? Oh, good on Reese. This is fucked up. We, oh my god, oh my god! He's terrorizing her. My god, he's fucked up! Tonight. Careful, Lily, but not like that. Not like that. Wait, what? Not the cameras either. Shit! My God! Oh, he was looking out for. Didn't you like the flowers, babe? Shit! Not. Yo! How did you get in here? I thought it could just be you and me tonight. Hurt you? No! 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 All of them are done. Look out for you, Lily. What a dickhead! Show some gratitude. We better go, Mr. Morris. <laughs> Is he gonna go for the eye? Oh, he did it! He did it! He did it! He did it! He did it. <laughs> Holy shit! 
Connecticut. Reese's print run prescription bottle found at the scene. Couldn't be telling me this while we drive? Let's go! And it's trash. It's Ernesto Machado. He used to own six nightclubs in Miami, a yacht, house in Coral Gables, and Damn. a pet tiger. Shit, he wasn't bullshitting. PD, everything's under control. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And she, into, she she's now part of the system. Is this Finch really calling? Like, what that, did I? Detective Carter is what we do <laughs> all the time to yeah. all of us. That picks the minute terrifying. detail. It's probably yeah. a good thing that you're the only other person that will ever see how this machine works. Wow! When it's, it has an instinct for self-preservation. You talk about that thing like it's alive. Well, it is alive. We can hear you. <laughs> Sentient. Oh no. Oh. Because we did see that, like, um, bust at the end of, um, I think it was ep uh, one of the early episodes. Um. So, yeah. But it's just very interesting, like, how this episode operated, not just peering further into the machine, which, you know, is something you suspect to um, do with uh, with this show. But also, um, it was, you know, quite the role reversal for Finch and Reese, and not just that, though, but Carter getting involved and getting a bit of an idea, a, a bit of bit of a further idea on how things operated. Um, and it was just really, really solid stuff this episode. So superb episode, in my opinion. Um, not just, of course, with the present day events, but the flashbacks as well. I really loved getting more, not just about the um, machine um, and everything um, in terms of, like, learning more about the building blocks and uh more of the connectivity between finch and nathan but also um yeah it was it was uh just re really really solid stuff to see it play out more because of course you get a bit more info about the machine and it's just like mwah, nice um so it was just really really great and then of course you had that ominous thing at the end of course where Nathan was alerted by the machine, so as a as a possible for I mean, especially since um um this whole thing about uh well Nathan did find the uh, concept terrifying in regards to you know how he can even um tr um he, he can even pull the tiniest of threads yeah yeah I, I mean it would make sense with the uh, machine acting in self preservation mode as um. Finch put it so yeah and and you know that is very very insane as well so as we go further into the show and learning more about the machine um it's going to be very very interesting to see how things come about like especially with, with Nathan's story at the end because we saw like I said his uh the bust thing um earlier the season so yeah but it was just really really great stuff um so yeah just that uh i mean the flashbacks as a whole for this episode was just really great especially with the uh you know uh government approaching um nathan and you know they're trying to pry under the hood um so yeah and it was it was just really really great especially with how nathan just absolutely pissed them off with the whole one dollar thing so yeah and of course, they as as revealed um, weeks um, with the fact that we know uh, earlier on in the flashbacks that weeks was targeted as a threat. Um, we 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 further got into the fact that he was like after an unsatisfactory meeting, he tried to pry. It wasn't going anywhere though. He and as as Finch said, he will keep trying, but it's it's just going to be hopeless really for him. So um, yeah, but. I mean, it's no surprise with 
how corrupt the uh, government officials can be that they will uh, try to find it. Like this is a this is a big big. Um, they, they they can strike gold with this sh- with this shit. Um, so yeah, you have an Aethan and Grimge who's just um not giving them what they want, and it's just yeah, it it, it it's just gonna frustrate them. So. But you know what? Hard luck. So, um, but of course, as well, it 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 does become very problematic for you know the government officials with the fact that um, it can't be aimed at specific target, which is of course um, a very very uh, pivotal thing for the government. It can't. It's already got its targets locked, um, and it's um, yeah, it, it can't be steered to a certain direction so you know that just speaks really really uh, that just speaks volumes about the machine and uh, how the mind of its own essentially is um not something you can really contend with like even if you're you know high up in the government and all of that you know so it's not happening um but yeah i really really loved it so um just love finding out more about the machine more about finch and nathan's relationship uh because it's been a bit since we um peeked into that but um it was really really great stuff but i loved the present day events so much because you were very curious about how um this episode would fare um i mean obviously reese was not gonna die um it was gonna be a very interesting um situation to see what would follow up there because of course you've got agent snow and his uh goons who are who who were not having it easy this episode because whilst of course they can't um they're a bit absent in terms of um in in terms of resolution to finding uh reese um they decided to harass carter and all of that and carter gave them the slip which was really really nice and they looked like idiots which was really really funny so um and furthermore of course they've been led astray thanks to fusco so it was just really really great stuff to see these like um these agents who who like they they're just not having the best episode are they um But I think the thing that was really, really tantalizing for Carter uh, in this episode was, of course, her getting a bit in on the know about this whole process that Finch and Reese are in on. Um, You know, taking those first steps in the swimming pool, I guess. So, um, but that's it, though. She's now in uncharted waters. And yeah, so with the fact that, like, she's curious about how do you do this? Finch throws her into the deep end, so, um, yeah, and, yeah, it's, I, I'm very, it's gonna be very interesting to see what's gonna happen in regards to, um, in, in regards to her story, because there is this idea that, okay, well, she's gonna play a part in this group now, isn't she? So, um, and usually you're so accustomed with the Reese Finch dynamic and now Carr is essentially in on this. I mean not officially, but I mean she's a fish she's she's essentially there, so but it's gonna be very, very exciting. Um especially since this is gonna obviously piss off the C the CIA further and um especially since um you know with somewhat of her occupation betrayed the CIA. That's not gonna go down well, so yeah um but yeah i am really really uh curious to see where things go not just in terms of present day but the flashbacks as well like how um you know ingram ended up as a possible su- uh, suspect and obviously we kind of got a bit of an idea of what happened to him but you know not just that though but to see where things go for carter as well because like i said now she's surely got to be roped in on um you know what is going to be happening um uh, with with you know the finch reese dynamic so um but it will be very exciting i am speaking of that actually um good way to segue into the you know main plot of things but yeah i really loved the role reversal 
um, situation. Um, both getting an appreciation of what the other does, um, both finding difficulties, I guess, in terms of uh, being in uncharted waters, um, having, you know, f- filling in for each other's shoes, really, I guess you could say, uh, for both Reese and Finch, uh, with Reese operating the computers and, and all of that. Uh, and now I was really, really, um, you know, uh, impressed with what Reese was able to do, not just in terms of being able to distract, uh, distract Trask, um, which, you know, I, I mean, to be fair, if he did go ahead and shoot that guy, he, he would have uh, been absolutely slaughtered anyway. So, uh, I, I, st- I, I think, given what um, ultimately, you know, did happen to Rick. Um, it was probably the best outcome for Trask, so yeah. But um, you know, it, it was it was still really really great stuff to see him. You know, just cause the fire alarm to go off, and then of course uh, when um, Rick was the actual stalker, um, he intervenes and all of that. So yeah, and even Finch did the eye fit, which was great. I loved that. Um, but I really look. I don't know. There was something just so so great about the dynamic between Finch and Reese in this episode. I've always loved their dynamic anyways, but I don't know, there's just something elevated. Um, so, yeah, but um, it was just really, really great from Reese giving uh, a bit of a self-defense uh, lesson and all of that, um, to just how um, Finch was, like, trying, like, was trying to... Um, fill in Reese and nearly got caught a couple of times by Trask. He was trying to fill in Reese's shoes in terms of evading um, the suspect. And there was just that, you know, little standoff. But uh, then there was that standoff against that officer. But thankfully, Reese was able to pull through and it was just really, really great. Um, so, and I think he got arrested at the end anyway. So that was a nice little bit of closure. So, but I really, really loved it though. It was just really, really um, great stuff. Uh, even Trask's whole situation, uh, because you felt so bad for Lily. But also, um, it, it was very interesting going into uh, you know that side. I mean, you were very, very stressful for for Lily, but also you were very uh, curious ultimately to see what would happen in regards to Trask's story, because he was painted as the as the the threat, but ultimately nada. So. Uh, not just that though, but the explanation as well in regards, um, in regards to Trask was just really, uh, really, really great stuff. So, um, because he did, he changed his name and all of that, and he, you know, um, did all nightclubs and all of that. It, it was, it was just really, really great uh, that he was bullshitting and and whatnot. So, um, yeah, but even so. With Reese as well for, uh, throwing um, uh, Rick out the window, that was re- I thought he was going to absolutely kill him. So, oi! Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I was getting kind of, you know, when uh, I know there are a few people who, as I've mentioned before, have you know essentially dubbed this as like a, you know a kind of a Batman-based show. Um, but, like, it was giving me that Batman vibe when, you know, Bane absolutely fucked him up, so, uh, or the few occasions, because it's not just been the one time, of course, but, um, there's been a few occasions where Batman's been on the shelf and all of that, and th- there has to be a bit of improvisation, um, so, yeah, but, again, it, it kind of reminded me of that, obviously not as extreme, uh, considering, um, Reese's spine is still in 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 good condition, um, but there's that vulnerability. But it was just very very great stuff to see a little bit of role reversal uh, between Fidge and, and and Reese in this episode, as well as you know getting Carter more involved into things. So yeah, but um, yeah, the uh, you know twist that Rick was the one that was threatening Lily was um, really well done, especially with you know explaining why Trask. Uh, you know why um, Trask's wife disappeared. So, yeah, but um, yeah, it was really, really great stuff. So I really thought this was a pretty fun episode and a pretty nice follow up to you know the dramaticness of um, the last episode. Not just in terms of dealing with 
you know, how is Reese going to handle this shit? But also the CIA as well, like, in terms of, like, being duped left, right, and center from Fusco, from Carter. It was just really great stuff. And the flashbacks, as I mentioned, was just great. Learning more about the machine, more about Finch and uh, Ingram's uh, connection. Um, there, there'd be that trust and ultimately machine is not liking um it, 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 the machine is not getting good vibes from ingram so mm. um and of course we'll open those can of worms at a later point but yeah great stuff this episode so yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time. Toodles!